Welcome to the next step on your journey through Pascha. I am uh, Father Aristides from St. Andrew in Miami, Florida. And today we're going to cover the topic of the parables of the ten virgins. So, my beloved family, we hear from the Lord today that there were ten virgins. Five of them were wise and the others were unwise. So, the wise ones, they had their lamps filled with oil. The parable teaches that they all slumbered and slept. And then, when the midnight came, the bridegroom, which is Christ himself, came. And they all woke up. Those who were able to enter with him into the kingdom were those five virgins who had the oil in their lamps. And the others did not have the oil. And they actually asked those who had oil to share some of them. But they were not able to share the oil with them and ask them to actually go and buy some. Entering deeper into this beautiful parable of Lent, we know that the ten virgins represent all the people of this earth. When he says that they fell asleep, it means that they all passed. And when they woke up, which represents the kingdom, they woke up and those who were able to enter were those who had oil. Now you will say, but how come those who had oil did not share with the other ones? That was not Christian. Well, the oil of gladness, that oil that they had, represents the good deeds that they did upon this earth. So the good deeds that we have upon this earth, we cannot actually share them with others. So they were able to enter. The deep meaning of this parable is to always be prepared. We do not know when the Lord is coming, but we have to live our life with peace, with faith, and above all, glorifying Him and be prepared every day of our lives and do good works so our cups or our lamps, as the, as the five virgins who were wise, can be overflowing with oil and with good works upon this earth. The topic of this week is the parable of the fig tree. So what do we learn today, my beloved family? The first thing that we learn is that Jesus was exhausted and he was hungry. And as he, as he approaches this good looking tree from afar, this fig tree, he thought this tree for sure has to have fruit. So he's approaching it and you can imagine he's, he's happy that he sees the fig tree. Yet when he reaches the fig tree, he realizes that the fig tree is empty inside. There was no fruits just leaves and we know that our Lord was upset about it and he asked the fig tree to wither and he withered this fig tree taught us by the church fathers and many others represents people who live superficially people who have really no depth in them so as appearances might look nice but that's not what matters what matters is in us inside of us and to bear good fruits to bear fruits of christ so when we talk about fruits what is the first thing that we think of are the fruits of the spirit patience kindness love and all these things that make us unique who we are so just as we continue in our beautiful journey through pascha let us focus on the blessings that we have in life let us focus on the things that have depth and meaning and let us bring Christ our fruits, which is our heart, our thoughts, and our hopes with Him. God bless you and protect you.